And Jamie, does motivation matter here if at the end of the day you do think that he knew that this was dangerous behavior? So, you know, motive is not necessary to prove a murder charge. Um, it's, you know, that, that has been clearly laid out over the course of, you know, history. Um, however, you know, Karen used the word intent, and I, I go back to my previous comment. I think that at the end of the day, you know, this jury has to find some level of intent uh, you know, even if it's rises to the reckless level, a reckless level, Ted of, you know, second degree murder kind of level where, you know, your behavior was so reckless that any reasonable person would have known that uh, life would potentially be harmed. I, you know, so I'm just going to push back a little bit. I, I agree with Karen, but I, I do think that, you know, I think the the prosecutor has some issues here. Um, are we dealing with an extraordinarily negligent doctor? Uh, and and is, there, is there criminal culpability associated with that? Or are we dealing with somebody that um, operated with the intent to kill or, or even a, from a second degree point of view attempted to kill? And I, I, I'm struggling with that uh, delineation at this point in time. And, and I, I anticipate that the defense is going to make a huge issue of this in closing.